Access 2007 and Client Server Computing. An Access Desktop Database is a fully functional RDBMS. It provides all the data definition, data manipulation and data control features you need to manage large volumes of data. You can use an Access Desktop Database or ACCDB either as a standalone RDBMS on a single workstation or in a shared client server mode across a network. A desktop database can also act as the data source for data displayed on web pages on your company intranet. When you build an application with an Access Desktop Database, Access is the RDBMS. You can also use Access to build applications in a project file, or ADP, connected to Microsoft SQL servers. And you can share the server data with other applications or with users on the web. This is a classic example of client-server computing, wherein SQL Server is the RDBMS and front-end is Microsoft Access. Earlier versions of Access used the MDB file format, but Office Access 2007 introduces a brand new file format with an ACCDB extension. Access 2007 can still open, run and save MDB databases created in earlier versions, but in order to take advantage of all the new features in Access 2007, you need to use the new ACCDB file format. Any RDBMS should allow you to define the kind of data you have and how the data should be stored. It should also allow you to define rules that the RDBMS can use to ensure the integrity of your data. In its simplest form, a validation rule might ensure that the user can't accidentally store alphabetic characters in a field that should contain a number. Other rules might define valid values or ranges of values for your data. In the most sophisticated systems, you can define the relationship between collections of data usually tables, and ask the RDBMS to ensure that your data remains consistent. For example, you can have the system automatically check to ensure that every order entered is for a valid customer. With an Access Desktop Database, ACCDB, you have complete flexibility to define and store your data as well as format it as user-readable information. Data can be as text, numbers, dates, times, currency, internet hyperlinks, pictures, sounds, documents and spreadsheets and it can be stored as string, number and date time OLE object for pictures and files. Because Access is a state-of-the-art application for Windows, you can use all of the facilities of ActiveX. ActiveX Control extends the power of access by allowing you to integrate custom objects created by Microsoft and other software vendors into your database applications. Within your access forms and reports, for example, you can include ActiveX custom controls to enhance the operation of your application for your users. ActiveX controls provide sophisticated design objects that allow you to present complex data in a simpler, more graphical way. Access can also understand and use a wide variety of other data formats, including many other database file structures. You can export data to and import data from word processing files or spreadsheets. You can directly access Paradox, DBase3, DBase4 and Microsoft Fox Pro and other database files. You can also import data from these files into an Access table. In addition, Access can work with the most popular databases that support the Open Database Connectivity, or ODBC standard, including SQL Server, Oracle and DB2. Access 2007 has added enhanced functionality to work with Microsoft Windows SharePoint Services, version 3. Any RDBMS provides you with many ways to work with your data. 
You can, for example, search a single table for information or request a complex search across several related tables. You can update a single field or many records with a single command. You can write programs that use RDBMS commands to fetch data you want to display and allow the user to update. Access uses the powerful Structured Query Language, or shortly SQL, pronounced as SQL. This database language is a process data in your table. Using SQL, you can define the set of information that you need to solve a particular problem, including data from perhaps many tables. Access helps you in this too with a simple yet extremely powerful graphical query definition facility. Using point, click and drag drop operations along with a few keystrokes you can build a complex query in a jiffy. The queries that you had developed need to be displayed as information to the user. This is achieved by using access forms and reports. While forms expose the stored data for manipulation, reports help in displaying the data as information to the user. Data can also be displayed in a web page. You would have figured out by now how powerful this new version of Access is. It is time now to explore each of these features in finer detail.